So just before we begin, if you could like this video and uh, subscribe to my channel, that really helps. And let's, let's jump in. There's, a, there's something I want to explain this morning that happened. I always like to do videos on something that's fresh that's happened to me in my life. So I was talking with my daughter this morning over breakfast and uh, we were chatting and I, um, uh, I was listening to her and I had a thought uh, about something that she was saying and it was, a, it was coming from me in my, in my behavior and in my thinking. It was a thought like, oh, if she learned this, she'd be more intelligent. And I went to um, action on that by saying something along the lines of, oh, you should learn this, or you, you should do this. I caught the behavior, which um, is, is me wanting her to be more able or intelligent or genius, but it's more able. And on the other side in my mind is I don't want her to be unable. So the behavior is my behavior coming from my desire to me not wanting to be unable and wanting to be able, and I want the same for her. So the moment we, uh, I move from, from that behavior or action in the real world, especially with my daughter, the moment I say to her, okay, I'm gonna try and shape her to being more able, intelligent, etc. I energize the opposite. I, I am actually um, saying that from my own behavior coming from an un unable. Because if I was completely neutral to my child being able or unable, I wouldn't say anything. It wouldn't have come up. It wouldn't have triggered this, this behavior in me wouldn't have started to spin and started to act and control me. Now, you might say, how does that energize the opposite? Well, the moment I say to my daughter or you should do this what she will hear is oh I'm not good enough I'm obviously not good enough I need to improve and then she starts to spin on that hamster wheel is what I call it and starts to want to be more able because she feels unable and the conditioning starts um, the schooling system conditions this um, that that's just how it is and we start to get on the hamster wheel of wanting to be able to, and, and to gain um, you know status acknowledgement achievement through the education system uh, however whenever we uh, and a whole culture and, and society is based on being able you know um, everyone who's extremely able uh, is held up as you know and glorified but that hamster wheel will never make you happy or peaceful. It's just, that's just the nature of the beast. That's why when I work with high performers up here, you know, the gold medalists, uh, billionaires, etc., they they completely unable to be, to stop and just to be happy and peaceful. And they're, um, they're like, they have so much, they've gained so much, but there's so much loss in their lives. And that's the addiction of the hamster wheel. So, if just looking at this, we're coming back to my daughter, the moment we, I watched my behavior. So I didn't act on that. I just saw this <gasps> come up and me wanting to make her more able. And I observed that with, and then I went, what happens is when you start to observe the behavior, it just starts to dissolve and calm down. And then I came back to being completely present with my daughter, uh, which is love, which is fully acceptance of the moment, not, the mind not coming in, trying to divide. Um, so it, it was a really, um, you know, these moments happen a lot. I wanted to share that with you. And the, the counterintuitive thing for intelligence and genius in a child is they already have it. If you step out of their way and don't condition them or, or don't interfere, just leave them. They have this incredible brain that's absorbing everything. 
And for us as adults to think that we need to direct them, you know, need to change them or shape them, actually counterintuitively um, retards them. And I use that word like it just holds them back or, or makes them less efficient um, counterintuitively. And I would, um, it, some, some people might go, oh no, you need to shape children and give them discipline and teach them things. Uh, that's not my experience at all. And it, it, it absolutely blows my mind when I see a child or, or an adult, I was listening to an adult yesterday um, on Twitter, their handle is rebel educator. They, they never went to school. And the, the, the woman's absolutely just abound with love for learning. She's constantly learning. She's amazing. Just, um, just incredibly intelligent. So I think that when we leave kids alone and just let them flourish like organically, then they, they find their, that's their intelligence and genius. But we extinguish it in the schooling system because we're trying to fit them into a system and, and trying to get them intelligent. However, whenever you try and shape with the mind using your central, the central authority of the mind, you always energize the opposite. That's, the, that's just the way it is. Okay, so internal first principles, these, whenever you try and shape someone based on your hamster wheel, you create the opposite. Whenever you try and shape yourself to be more able, you also energize the opposite and it's a hamster wheel that you will be on for the rest of your life, which will imprison you. Um, but the only way off it is, is uh, without action, non-doing, wu wei, effortless non-doing observation to understand the behavior and then it dissolves it's the only way okay i hope that was useful again if you'd like uh, or leave a comment as well i'd really love to hear from you uh, and if you'd like me to also uh, talk about something on a video i'd love to um, leave your um, let me know what you'd like to work on thanks so much everyone bye bye